Hello children. Hello teacher. Hello children. Hello teacher. Are you happy being here today? Yes. Okay, you are still at your favorite hub of learning, then of no. knowledge. And I still I still remain your physical and health education teacher, Mr. Jackson. And don't forget, this is still for basic three. For basic three. Okay, today we will be looking at ball games. Everybody say ball games. Ball games. Say ball games. Ball games. Now, when you talk about ball games, you are simply talking about those games that we play with ball. Is that okay? Yeah. If you take a look at my hand, you will see two different balls. This is for football, and this is volleyball. Everybody say volleyball. Volleyball. Good. Now, there are other ball games, like basketball, table tennis. You know table tennis is also yeah. a ball game. Yeah. How many of you can play table tennis? Mm -hmm. How many of you? Okay, good. We also have lawn tennis. Now, we are going to focus on two. One, football, which we also call soccer, and table tennis. And these two, what we'll be looking at is the major skill involved in the two games. Is that okay? We'll start with football. First of all, you must know that football is a game played by two teams of 11 players each. Is that okay? Yes. Two teams of 11 players each. 10 players and one goalkeeper. 10 players and what? One goalkeeper. Now, the end of the teams is to ensure that they have the highest goal point. Is that okay? Yeah. So if team A is playing against team B, team A will fight to make sure it scores up to five goals. And team B must also make sure that it doesn't lose to team A. Is that okay? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. So, what are the skills? The basic skills. Skill number one, we have kicking. Skill number one, we have what? Kicking. Okay? I want you to come. This is your football. Both of you come out. Good. Now, this is your football. The ball is here. Yeah? Now, when you talk of kicking, kicking simply means or entails pushing the ball hard. With your what? With your leg. Is that okay? Yeah. First of all, you swing the leg backwards and then use force to hit the ball. Now, with kicking, you aim for your goal. With kicking, you push the ball to your colleague. Is that okay? Okay, let's see you do that kicking. Come out of the way. Let's see you kick it out. Good. Now, sorry. Now, that is what we mean by kicking. Pushing the ball hard with your leg. Then the second one is passing. Now your passing could be long pass. It could also be what? Short pass. What do you mean by passing? Pushing the ball to your colleague or to your teammate. Now two of them are in the same team. And he's with the ball. Now he wants to move the ball to the next person that is his teammate. Okay, let's see you. Good. Do you see that? Yeah. That is what we call passing. So you must make sure it gets to your teammate. Then the next one is trapping. Trapping simply means stopping the ball. Stopping the ball. ball. Stopping the ball. ball. So I am with the ball. Okay. Push the ball to me. Good. You have the ball with you. Bam. Yeah. So do you see? Yeah. Stopping the ball and getting control of the ball. Is that okay? Yeah. Then the next one we have is dribbling. Dribbling. Yeah. Dribbling. Okay. Are right, you come? You see? You see how I dribble with him? Yeah. Passing your opponent with the ball to make sure that he doesn't get the ball from you. Is that okay? Yeah. And when you pass your opponent, you can now push it to your teammate. Are we together? Yeah. Then the next one is what? Heading. Heading is what? Your head. Using your head to either bring the ball down, push the ball forward, or sideways with your what? Head. 
Okay, can you do something with your head? Okay, let's see you do something with your head. Oh! Did you see that? Yeah. Okay, let's do it again now. Throw to me. You see, I push the ball forward with my word, head. That is what? Heading. Then we have throw in. Everybody say throw in. Throw in. So to throw in. Throw in. Some person say throw me. Please, it is not throw me. It is throw in. Now you throw in the ball when the ball passes the sideline of the field. This is the only time the players outside the goalkeeper are allowed to use hand. Is that okay? Yeah. The player. Now, it could be anybody. It can be anybody. What do they do? They get the ball and then throw it. Is that okay? To one of their teammates. Is that okay? Yeah. So, it is a skill in football. Then the final one is goalkeeping. Goalkeeping is what? Stopping the ball from getting into the goal post. Is that okay? Yeah. So stopping the ball from getting into the goal post. So the goalkeeper either pushes the ball out in this manner or punches the ball out or catches the ball in any way. Okay, throw the ball to me. Let me show you. I catch the ball. Did you see it? Yeah. Throw the ball again. I push the ball out. Did you see it? Throw the ball again. I punch the ball out. So these are different ways goalkeepers use to stop the ball from getting into their world goal post. Is that okay? These are basic skills in what? Football. Then let's quickly talk about basic skills in table tennis. Skill number one. Table tennis, of course, is a game played by two players. Sometimes four. Different points. Now, they use what we call bat. Now, skill number one is the forehand stroke. Now, you use the forehand. Hey, look up. You use the forehand stroke. Forehand stroke. So, when you are playing, when you are playing, when you are playing, is that okay? Then you have the backhand stroke. Using the back of the bat. You play with the bat. You are playing. Is that okay? Is that okay? Now, if you take a look at the screen, you will see the skills being displayed by various players. Then, the final one is the service. It is the service that you use to toss the ball into play. Is that okay? Yeah. So the aim of table tennis is to have the highest point, just the way you have in football. I hope you really enjoyed today's class. I hope to see you in next class. Thank you very much and bye-bye.